Good morning, and congratulations, class of 2017. <laughs> to our graduates, to your families, and to our special guests, I'm honored to join Chairman Mullen in welcoming you to these ceremonies. I am so excited and proud to share this special day with all of you. It has been an outstanding year here at WPI, full of individual accomplishments and remarkable progress for our university as a whole. But none of these accomplishments, not even being ranked number one by the Wall Street Journal, number one in the nation by the Wall Street Journal, for being the university that best integrates great teaching with great research, not even this number one ranking. Did I mention we were number one? <laughs> not even this is more important than the accomplishments that we celebrate with you here today. For today, we celebrate the thing that brought all of us to WPI, faculty, staff, trustees, even presidents. We are here to contribute to the success of you, our students. Every feat you've mastered, every setback you've overcome to get to this day, well, we take it all personally. So seeing you walk across this stage brings pride to all of us. What an accomplishment. And we are especially proud this year that for the first time ever, more than 1,000 students earned bachelor's degrees at WPI. Now, you all know you do a lot of work in teams here at WPI, and for many of you, at least one of those teams was an athletic team. At WPI, athletics has never been about winning at all costs. Our student athletes are high achievers on and off the field, or the track, or the water, as the case may be. Go men's rowing. Just won bronze at the national championships yesterday. Awesome. Today I want to give a special shout out to five graduating members of our track and field team that are not here with us today because they are competing in postseason events aiming to qualify for NCAA championships. They are with us in spirit and had their own commencement on Wednesday evening with our provost Bruce Burston. Congratulations to them and their families and for all they have achieved. Yeah. So today we celebrate all of you, all you've done, the roads you've traveled, the impact. <coughs> wow. <laughs> We're a technological university, what can I say? Hey, here we go. <laughs> Roll with the punches, that's what, that's what today is all about. Roll with the punches. <laughs> How about I try the other podium? Now I'm the left shark. All right. <laughs> left shark was the more fun one anyway, right? So today we celebrate you all, all you've done, the roads you've traveled, the impact you've made in communities around the world, how your WPI experience has made you the person you are today and contributes to who you'll be in 10, 20, 30 years, even beyond. We know to be true that you will be shaped by the long for the long term by the experience that you've had at WPI. Such is the story for graduating senior Paige Myatt. In her junior year, Paige and classmates Nate Pearson Peterson, sorry, Nate Peterson, Allie Buckley, and Martin Fitzgerald traveled to New Zealand to work with the environmentally minded Maori community. Their goal? To see if a hydroponic greenhouse could be powered with excess electricity from the community's micro hydro power system and to research the feasibility of specific crops growing within it. A fairly typical WPI project challenge. Not, and more typical than they knew because the same year, 9,000 miles away, right here in our hometown, 
Antoine Cruz, and three classmates, Alexander Noonan, Ethan Prahar, and Paula Rudy, worked with the Worcester Roots Project to aid in the development of an aquaponic greenhouse and to study which fresh produce would make the most sense to grow as part of an urban far farming movement. In each case, the experience took the students further than they might have imagined. Paige, who's a mechanical engineering major, was so captivated by the Maori community's commitment to be guardians of the earth that she and her teammate, Nate, who was also an ME, zoned in on a project for their senior capstone, their MQP, and made a plan to return to New Zealand. They needed a chemical engineer, which they found in classmate Aaron McGuinness. And they needed all the right systems to align at WPI. True to the WPI spirit, Paige recalls, faculty and staff in the Global Projects program rallied, and the team spent the summer preparing for the project logistics, as well as designing the self-cleaning floating boom that would protect the microhydroelectric unit from debris. Back in New Zealand, they built and installed the boom to the delight of the project sponsor. But of course the story doesn't end there. The plot thickens. After Paige's teammates went home, Paige welcomed her dad to New Zealand. I met her dad uh, last night, that was great. So her dad came to New Zealand to do some exploring and sightseeing just in time for a 100-year storm to arrive in New Zealand. The locals called it the Tasman Tempest. Paige insisted on going back to the project site. If the boom was damaged, she was compelled to fix it. We went there to do a job, she said. To Paige, it wasn't about the grade. She believed it was her responsibility to do the right thing. Remember when I said we all take it personally? It makes me so proud. In, the fa in fact, the boom was slightly damaged, but because she and the project sponsor worked together, they were able to fix it. And because she keeps in touch with the sponsor, we know that it's still working, and that makes Paige proud, and which it, as well it should. Now, there were no 100-year storms for Antoine and his team in Worcester. The challenges in the environment were different. What struck Antoine about how, was how much he learned at, and the magnitude of the impact he could have so close to our campus, and yet, really, a world away. Paige and Antoine, who know each other from their work as resident advisors, yay RAs, connected the dots on the similarities of their global projects. They appreciate, as I believe all of you come to appreciate, that on this small planet of ours, the challenges that communities face and the importance of collaboration to solve them is universal. As I mentioned, Antoine's been an RA. He's held a few other uh, great positions and leadership roles as well. President of the Black Student Union, fraternity member, rugby team member. And he worked hard, academically and otherwise, to be able to go to Beijing, China for his senior capstone in ME, an experience that helped him land a great job at Pratt & Whitney. Always one with a plan and a passion, Antoine has a picture of his future. Once he has the capital, he's going back to his hometown of Detroit. He's gonna build a, biz a business and create jobs. He's going to give back. Page two has a plan. She is gonna continue her education focused on international development, taking her engineering mindset and applying it to make a societal impact. She's taking what WPI taught her to the next level. Antoine and Paige, their project teammates, and their experience were just a few among hundreds of experiences. Each of you has a story, weathered your own storms, has been engaged and worked hard to realize your dreams. That's the special thing about education, and especially about a WPI education. Graduates, the degree that you have earned here today can never be taken away from you and it connects you deeply to generations of learners and thinkers and doers who came before you and who went on to become the inventors of the future in which we now reside. Now Antoine and Paige and all of you have the opportunity, as they did, to shape the world for future generations. And so, as you graduate today, I leave you with two requests. First, I challenge you to focus on the opportunities ahead, yes, but not to overlook the responsibilities. With this education and your capabilities, we know that you will do well in your career and do well for your families. My charge to you, class of 2017, is to also be sure to do good. 
for your community, for your nation, for the planet. Your WPI education has prepared you to make an impact on a much broader stage. And so, apply what you have learned here for good. In other words, use your WPI degree to continue to make us proud. And second, I ask you to stay connected to us at WPI. Help us continue to elevate this place. Help us spread the word about what's happening here. Share with others what you got out of your experience and come back from time to time and share your story with our current students. You are part of the WPI family forever. And this family is what makes WPI so special. Our family is on the rise and we want you with us. I wish you the very best on your journey and I am so proud of each and every one of you. Congratulations again to the great class of 2017. Thank you.